Hey, and welcome back. So in our last video, we focused a lot on trying to find different types of typefaces that, you know, are gonna suit our brand over here, Habitual. We went for different types of like typefaces that are a little bit more humanist, you know, they have a little bit more variation in the types of like letter forms. We tried some more safe bets, like Inter, which were kind of like throwbacks to like those neo grotesque types of uh, typefaces. We got one geometric typeface and that was Jost. And um, just to kind of like mimic what we have here, the very round little counters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start thinking about, well, I need to choose uh, a typeface here and I want to choose the one that is going to work best for the types of components and different type of content I'm going to have on my page. You know, the worst thing to do is just pick a typeface out of nowhere and then find out later that, hey, this doesn't really suit what I'm trying to build. It's not necessarily legible. It's not really suiting the brand like I thought it would. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a huge frame. So let's create a big frame. And we'll just call this concepts. So I urge you while I'm doing this, you know, to do it yourself as well. Think about the types of content that we're gonna be designing with, like type elements that we may have. So I'm gonna grab this branding, I'm gonna bring it over here. I'm just gonna convert this to a group just to make it easier because we're just playing around with concepts. So we have our branding. So when I think about the type of content I'm gonna see, I'm gonna think about like maybe the homepage is going to have like copy that says, find the stuff that you love. And I'm gonna start using like, here, let's use enter to start it off. Great, I'm probably gonna use like 32 pixels and uh, we'll make that bold. That logo, we'll just bring it over here. I think it helps to really see how this plays how these uh, elements all play well together. Okay, and I may write something like, take a look at what we found for you. So this may be like 16 pixels and like a medium. Okay, so uh, it's starting to look really nice. I'm gonna just try to match this color here. It looks like it fits really well. Um, what else can we do? Well, let's get uh, an image. Let's think about like a product image because there's going to be a bunch of them on this uh, on this app. So I'm going to open up Unsplash. And I'm just going to type in like headphones or something. Cool, that's going to work. Okay, oh, it's not in our frame. Now it's in our frame. Okay, I think that's uh, that's good for now. And what I'll do now is probably just write the product name. So let's just say like Sony headphones. And then I will write like a, I think a price. We'll probably have, a, we'll most likely have a price, 65.99. And we probably have some copies. So let's go to our Lorem Ipsum plugin. Let's go to sentences and maybe we'll just have like two sentences. Okay, now we can start creating a little bit more variation in terms of like the different types of type elements that we're gonna see. So that's probably like that. Maybe it's like regular. It's probably like bold at 16, I think that's fine. We have this, this may be a little bit larger, maybe like 20. And look at that, like we, we have a little bit of a product thing here, like a product image and everything. Let me take it a little step further and, you know, let's create a little pill that says like sale. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select it Option Command G, we'll make a frame, we'll just call it pill. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to auto layout. We'll do eight by 
8. Actually, we can probably just leave it at 0. So 8 by 0, and we're going to go to our border radius or corner radius and select 100. And we are going to turn that on. Let's try to match our brand. I think that's fine. Okay, and as for the actual type inside there, we'll make it all caps, probably make it like bold or maybe semi bold, maybe a little bit of letter spacing. And we can bump this up to like, uh, actually, I think that's fine. So, uh, okay, now we have like a little more to see here, like in terms of just the actual versatility of our typeface. And this is definitely a much more versatile typeface than I thought it would be. Everything kind of plays really well together. So, um, hmm, I think this is fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to go all the way to the top and I'm going to make a couple copies. So you have a bunch of copies now, and what I like to do is I just like to select everything, and let's, let's see what it looks like when we start applying other typefaces and how they play together. So that's one. You know, you may need to change the styles around just a bit to get it the way you like. Um, okay, that's gonna be good. This one will do overpass. Okay, I think we need to just change the bold on that to like an extra bold. Maybe this is like an extra bold. I like overpass a lot actually. I think it looks a lot like our word mark there. What was the other one? Jost. Okay, there's a lot of I think uh, we're gonna see. I, I said we're gonna run into the problem here of uh, just a little bit of legibility, just the way uh, the typeface is. So I'm not sure if that's gonna be a good choice. And I think cabin was the last one. Same with cabin. I mean, there isn't enough variation here, so we may run into that problem. So that's something definitely to think about. So if I were to go through these different typefaces, I'm going to really think about, okay, well, what is going to suit my content? Number one, what matches like the tone of my brand? So I think like Inter is a really nice one over here. Definitely a really nice brand. I mean, uh, it matches our brand really nicely. Definitely. We have Leto. Oh, I, th I like that one a lot too. I really like just the numbers on it as well. It's, those are nice maybe a little bit too much contrast. So I like Leto a lot, actually. It's like this in-between between, between like a serif and a sans serif. There's these nice rounded corners. I mean, it's not too alike in terms of like the actual brand, but it's not too, um, not too different. And when we kind of zoom out, it's really legible. Overpass over here is really nice. I mean, there's that kind of like that throwback to the word mark. But one thing I don't like about it is like, it's not as legible as the others. It's a little bit more condensed than I thought it would be. And plus those little intricacies, especially like the K, if you look at that, or what's another letter here that has something like the short, like tip of the F and the high cross, you know, it makes things a little bit harder to read, especially like the P over here. So I'm probably not gonna go with overpass. Same thing with Jost here. I mean, we have the issue of like it having low X heights, tall, tall heights over here. And that makes it a little bit harder to read at smaller sizes. So I think, uh, what else we have here? We have cabin. So cabin I like too. The only issue is like, this is bold and this is regular. And those are the two extremes and there isn't enough contrast. So if I'm going to squint and look at it, I'll notice that, I mean, they kind of blurred together and this is probably not going to be a good choice since we're going to have a lot of this together. So my goal here, let's see if I bring this down a notch. I mean, even then it's still a little too close for my liking. 
you know what, for the sake of it, because I really like the font, I'm going to bring it into my next round. Same with Inter and uh, Leto. So let's bring those in because I like those. So at this point, I mean, you can go ahead, like you can use whatever fonts you want. I'm just showing you my process for elimination when I'm choosing fonts. I may start creating a little bit more variation in elements to see what really suits us or what's really going to suit our brand. Uh, I'm thinking of going with Leto right now just because it's just a really nice typeface in relation. Like I think the contrast between this and the brand in general is really nice. And it has a sense of like, I don't know, I, I think like you could just say like trustworthiness in a way, like it just, it seems really professional. The only problem I have right now with Inter is that it just seems like it's, it's kind of devoid of all emotion, if, if you want to say, kind of like a Helvetica and other neo-grotesques. So I'm having a hard time kind of settling on that. What else is there? And uh, I mean, cabin just, it, there's just not enough variation there. So I think I'm going to stick with Leto right now. That may change, but uh, what I would do is I would start creating different elements like buttons or like paragraphs, body copy to really see. I mean, we may not have a bunch of that in our application, but it's just good practice just to see the variance in your typeface. And I think this is going to work really well if we use it just as a solo typeface on our application. So that's how you pick typefaces for a brand with no type system in place. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to jump into Figma again, and I'm going to start building out a type system.